Hi everyone, I'm Megan with Train Ace. Today's topic covers reasons why you should tackle the Cisco Certified Network Associate Exam. We are going to cover exactly who a CCNA is, what they're worth to a company, and some different careers which stem from having a CCNA certification. Let's first talk about what exactly the four letters CCNA can mean when they're put on your resume. To be CCNA certified means you have an advanced knowledge in computer networking. This knowledge includes the ability to install, configure, operate, and troubleshoot networks of 100 or smaller. Routers and network security are also addressed in the material. Because of the vast amount of information a CCNA must be an expert in, a Network Plus certification, or at least a certification course, is highly recommended as a prerequisite to give you a strong base in the terminology and concept of networking. Having CCNA certified on your resume will put you bound and leaps ahead of a competitor who does not have it. It's all about showcasing your skills on paper. Being CCNA certified may get you a chance for an interview that you wouldn't have had without it, even if you are an extremely proficient computer networker. So you've decided this interests you, but how should you pursue it? First, you sign up for a boot camp, which can provide you all of the knowledge you need to pass this exam. By taking a certification training course, you are ensured that you are learning only information that is relevant to material on the exam by authorized professionals. This exam is provided by Cisco, and the exam itself is proctored by Pearson View. The exam's number is 640802. It is a 90-minute exam consisting of 45 to 55 questions. Once you have passed the 640802, you are set to begin choosing which career path you'd like to go down. There are tons of choices and opportunities for CCNAs. A lot may choose to go on to achieve more advanced certifications, while many may choose to enter the job force as help desk support and field administrators. When choosing what path to go down after becoming certified, you naturally want to think about the monetary outcome. What is going to get you the most bang for your buck? Just having the CCNA credential could get you a salary increase of up to 20%. If you are an entry-level network associate, you can enter the field at as low as $30,000 with the ability to make over $100,000 once experience has been gained. The average salary of someone currently in the field and holding this certification is $87,790. As in any industry, salary is greatly influenced by the cost of living in the area you reside in. We can use Georgia and New York State as an example of this. It is generally much cheaper to live in Georgia when compared to New York. This is seen in the average salary of CCNAs living in these regions. In Georgia, the salary ranges from $38,500 to $112,600. In New York, salary started at about $44,000 and increased to about $123,000. This is about a $10,000 difference between states. The United States Army provides the lowest compensation for CCNAs, starting at just $30,000. Cisco Systems, Inc. is known to be one of the highest paying companies. When working there, CCNAs can make upwards of almost $118,000. Your salary will only continue to grow as you gain further credentials and experience in your chosen field. Speaking of career fields, now is the perfect time to further discuss some job types that may interest you. The first and maybe most used by CCNA professionals is the role of IT network administrator. As a network administrator, you are responsible for backing up networks and making sure security systems are managed correctly. You will also provide user support to members of an office in the areas of email systems and internet access. Basically, you are the person who makes sure a company's computers are up and running correctly and that people who are using them are able to efficiently navigate their computer. Another career path you can choose to delve into is that of a systems engineer. As a systems engineer, you will design and implement computer systems, their software, and their network. This can include defining very complex system requirements, determining systems specifications, and ensuring that system hardware and software are compatible and able to work well with each other. The average salary of a systems engineer is 88000 which is why it was listed by CCNNMoney.com as the number one best job in America based on pay, quality of life, and growth potential. Similar to a systems engineer, network engineers are responsible for installing, maintaining, and supporting computer communication networks within an organization or between separate organizations. Their goal is to ensure the smooth operation of communication networks in order to provide maximum performance and availability for their users. These users can include staff, clients, customers, as well as suppliers. On any given day, they can do anything from setting up new accounts to ensuring the IT computer equipment is up to par with state set standards and guidelines. If leadership is a strong asset of yours, you might want to set your sights on one day becoming an IT director. An IT director is hired to provide leadership, vision, and management to the IT department. 
They can work with anyone from judges to office staff to make sure all IT needs are met. They serve on various committees on behalf of the IT department and act as a primary contact point with vendor. An IT director is the mentor and spokesperson of the department. An IT director typically makes about $130,000 a year. This continues to rise all the way up to a reported $182,000. Many times this does require a four-year college degree, but it is also attainable by hard work and showing commitment and dedication to a company. There are so many more jobs and certifications that a CCNA can lead you into. Way too many to list in just one short presentation. By becoming a Cisco Certified Network Associate, you are really investing in your future as an IT professional. You can increase your skills a lot by taking this step. If this is something that does interest you, we would love to help get you started. At Train Ace, we offer elite subject matter experts in classes that are 70% hands-on and they allow you to actually experiment and work with the same equipment, like routers, that you would be working with in the field. I hope that you have learned a lot and this has helped to answer some questions you may have. Please contact us today if you have any